There's a lot of debate within the IT industry about whether backup agents should be installed to push out backups or whether backup data should be pulled from servers using an external system without the installation of a software backup agent. The agent versus agentless debate is an old one with a lot of history, and it has some special context when it comes to backing up mid-range or big iron. Without question, backing up using installed agents is the best way to protect data. Installed agents can make full use of system compatibilities and therefore can offer more features and functionality while providing a more robust overall backup experience. In the early days of commodity servers, stability was seen as an issue. Supposing you had multiple applications running on a single server, such as email, CRM, and ERP, a crash in one of these applications could potentially bring down the other applications or the entire server itself. In order to protect critical business systems from these kinds of problems, many companies began implementing a strict one machine, one application, 1M, 1A policy, where each enterprise application would be allocated to its own individual hardware. You'd have a physical box for email, a physical box for ERP, and a physical box for CRM. And if any one of these crashed, either from the application level or from the OS level, it would not affect the other systems in any way. Of course, 1M1A created many of its own serious problems and has since led to the rebirth of virtualization in the data center as a means of resolving those issues. As a result of this philosophy and some vendor-driven fear-mongering, many IT administrators became reluctant to install backup clients onto their servers since this would technically be a violation of the 1M1A approach. Although it's a good idea to keep the number of installed applications to a minimum, Taking this idea to such extremes can also cause problems and create inconveniences for IT administrators. Since those early days, the development of commodity server platforms has focused much more on security, stability, and resiliency. Although they still pale in comparison to i-series, AS400, AIX, and other related platforms. In fact, most data centers today are adopting some form of virtualization for their Wintel systems, where multiple machines share in the same hardware. On platforms such as iSeries, AS400, AIX, Linux, and Unix, these concerns are even less of an issue, since their architecture has always been focused on crash-resistant reliability since the very beginning. A buggy application can't do much to take down the whole server with it because the kernels will keep them segregated from other running applications. Contrary to vendor hype, agentless backups are not immune to these theoretical stability issues. Once you've given advanced permissions for an external machine that's connected to your server, you face many of the same challenges that you would if you'd installed software on your computer. So, it all pretty much evens out in the end. But ultimately, these questions all come down to the dependability of the vendor and their commitment to producing quality backup products. Backup is a mature industry, and if your vendor has been in business for over a decade, that's usually a good sign that they have a stable offering and a reputation to protect. Also, IBM Power Systems have been running virtualization for decades, and customers don't complain about multiple applications sharing the same hardware. In fact, it's always been a major selling point for these platforms. Yes, agentless backup still has its place. For example, it can be a convenient way to back up full system snapshots of large numbers of virtual machines from the hypervisor level. But given the choice, a backup agent offers the best in terms of power and features for most backup and disaster recovery scenarios. And this is especially true when it comes to the unique requirements that come from protecting IBM power systems. And for IBM purists, installing IBM-specific backup software onto their power system servers can be much more appealing than having to allow a commodity device to connect and take control of the environment. Of course, you should not install unnecessary software onto your servers, but if an installed backup application can provide features that are not available from an agent-free option, you should not hesitate to leverage these capabilities. Ultimately, you need to pick the right tool for the job. Although the backup agents are the best choice in the majority of scenarios, there are still certain situations where agentless may still be the right option. Above all, these decisions should be primarily based on your technical requirements and desired features.